Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is a one-on-one -on -one legacy match in Episode 7 of the Orox deck. Hmm, double bull Orox, all I'd need is one more land. I think I'm going to risk it. Okay, green. Search for tomorrow. Damn. I really would have preferred to draw land right there. So he's playing green and white, which isn't good for us because white has a lot of ways of getting rid of my creatures. Yeah, I don't really have a choice. I have to go with cultivate even though it's slow. And there's no real benefit to swinging with the Aurochs. I mean, they have trampled, but... Into a 1-1? One, one. Throw down Garuk. Tap 2. Go with another Cultivate. Hopefully, I will be able to roll out on my next turn. Got an instant. Oh, just another soldier token. Okay, and I draw a land that time. So I will throw down two Aurochs. An Aurochs, the, the card, and Rhymehorn Aurochs. And pass. Makes another soldier. Now, if I draw a Blanchwood armor on my turn, that would be brilliant. Okay, Elspeth. Gains life. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with it. Blocked by three, so yeah, that's guaranteed to kill Elspeth. <coughs> Draw. 
trample. Elsbeth is going to die, regardless of what you do. Okay, trying to soak up a little bit of damage. Alright, we've got him at nine. Elspeth is dead, but he has five mana and six cards in hand. He pretty much needs a wrath effect. Does he have one? Yes! Uh... Online was a little bit slow there. And I need to keep Garruk alive as much as I'd like to throw out a 3-3 right there. One 3-3 three, three isn't going to help a whole lot. Okay. Planar cleansing. So this guy just has wrath after wrath. Yeah, I'm in trouble now. I had a comeback with the... Uh, what did he grab back? Elspeth. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done now. That planar cleansing saw to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a chance until he played planar cleansing. And you know what I realized? I'm an idiot. I should have gone face. Right, that would have been 11 more damage to the face. Yeah, I'm a genius, folks. Just the second she hit the board, my brain went, oh crap, kill her, kill her, kill her, mm. instead of thinking, you can kill him, she doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out the bequeathals. Throw in Bramble Crush and Hmm. What? Like root grapple? I mean it's it's expensive, but it's uh the only ways that I have to directly kill a planeswalker without hitting it in the face. Oops. 
Sorry about that. Uh, I was trying to clear all these messages at the same time, and Steam brought up a message at the same time. So this might not be too bad of a start. Yeah. This should should do nicely. Bolorox, Curse of Predation, Orox. I really need to get another copy of that. I think Orox is going to have to wait. So, ordeal last. And then I don't have anything to play. Okay, doing well. Now I have six. Let's see. Okay, I drew another Orox, so I'll just go with the herd. And grab another herd. Yeah. So he has to wrath here or he's dead. Actually, all he'd have to do is kill the bull or ox. I'm just going to attack to see what happens. If I win, we'll go on to the next game. Two. Ah, moment's peace. Okay. So, let's go with another Orox herd. Search for another Orox herd. And he'll have flashback for the moment's peace on the next attack. Or he can, uh, Wrath, if he has it. Frankly, at this point, I don't really want to play any other creatures, because I know he has Wrath. So I'm actually not going to play anything. This way, in case he wraths on this turn, I can try and make a comeback. Wrath? Planar, um, cleansing. Okay. Throw down an Auroch, throw down Blanchwood Armor, see what he does. Because even if he kills this, I still have the possibility of coming back. I haven't seen any direct removal yet, 
So he might only have AoE. What has he got? You have to kill it. Another planar cleansing? No, Captain! You're dead. Right? Twelve, six, nine, no. Damn. He's still alive. I don't really want to risk... walking into another wrath. So I'm just going to uh, stick with that. Now he's in the same situation he was in. Only this time, Captain of the Watch won't save him. He has to kill the Rhymehorn Orox. Even killing the Blanchwood Armor won't save him. There we go. So we've got nine mana. Let's just throw down the uh, Orox in the Lana War. He has to kill the Orox again. I know this is sounding like a broken record, but uh, he just saves himself for a turn every time. Day of Judgment. Grab my last Orox herd. Throw down the land. Pass again, and he's back in the same situation. Captain of the Watch. I drew Root Grapple, which isn't going to help me right now. I just have to wait. And hope that I have uh, a good draw. Another Blanchwood armor would kill it. Um, I lost my Curse of Predation already. Garuk wouldn't help me this turn. Yikes. No, we'll just... It's an instant, so I'll just save it. Okay. He has 9, that's 18, 21, so he doesn't have enough to make it over the top to kill me. And I don't have enough to make it over the top to kill him. Because both of those would be six fours, and he'd be a four. So, three there, three there, two there, and he'd still have creatures. I need to be 
able to respond I just can't break through now. Even with an overrun effect, he's just got too much in the way. Oh, and I could have sighted in my prey upons. That would be helpful right now because then I could just go, oh, he's dead. Six and six is twelve, plus three is fifteen. I can block four of them, so that's eleven. Yeah. Well, that's game. I could have won the first match but I was blinded by the threat of a planeswalker that wasn't a threat. This match, I just... I couldn't keep up with his output. And that's the game, folks. So, um, if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.